Hello, hello guys, uh, Perev, uh, Namaste, Tumelang, Hui Amor, Hola, Sanbonani. Anyway, we have a startup chip today. So here on this video, I will make sure that you understand all the necessary uh, pins from the startup chip. Whenever you are diagnosing a laptop, especially a startup chip or a super IO chip, from now on, you will be able to measure and uh, to, uh, to check all the necessary uh, pins from the startup chip. Let's go ahead. Let's see what we have. I'm sure we, we all know what is the startup chip. A startup chip is also called a super IO chip. And again, it's also called um, an EC, of which it means embedded uh, chip or embedded controller the chip is responsible for what for charging your laptop whenever you charge your laptop and you get that led light uh, flashing or saying the laptop is charging just know that that signal is coming from where from the startup chip even the light uh, saying the laptop is on the standby or there is a dc inject uh, i mean a charger it means the signal is coming from where from the startup chip so that's why we have to make sure that you understand the startup chip. Even when you are pressing the power button, the power button signal is go straight to where? To a startup chip. The startup chip is so important. It's so important. It does so many things. It controls the keyboard, the caps lock on your keyboard. The entire machine, even the CPU as well, is reports back to a startup chip. They exchange signals with a, a startup chip. The CPU exchanges the signal with what? With the startup chip. So you have to understand the startup chip. Let's go ahead. What do we know about the startup chip? The startup chip has received the, the 3.3 volts as the main power, uh, the, the, to power up or to turn on the startup chip. The startup chip must have what? A 3.3 volts of which the 3.3 volts will come from, uh, from the 3.3 and the 5 volts chip uh, controller. And the signal there from that chip will be called VREF3 or LTO3. Let's go ahead. So that chip, I mean that's uh voltage coming from the chip will be called AVCC, VCC, VTT, or V in. Alright. I hope now you understand all those three signals. The same thing, AVCC, VCC, VTT, or and V in. It's all one thing, okay? Go ahead let's check here you will have a section for lpc pass to pch okay lpc it means low pin count pass to a uh, platform control hub uh, pch just means platform control hub i'm sure you've seen a pch uh, in this new laptops the pch is now embedded within the cpu anyway let's continue though so you have to understand those uh, signals there, that's uh, those pins there. What, what exactly you should have on that section? You should check more important uh, PLT. PLT it means it means a uh, platform uh, reset. There should be 3.3 there uh, signal reporting to a to a startup chip. Make sure you do have the PLT uh, RST, which means platform uh, reset. And the clock it should have like 33 megahertz. We should check using what using an exoscope there for that 33 uh, MHZ. All right. And what else should we check? Let's let's go on the right hand side and check the SM pass uh, clock, SM pass that is impact clock clock as well. As I've mentioned before, the startup chip is responsible for what for measuring the the computer temperature, the battery temperature and some other stuff as well so you will have a signal called sm pass sm pass they are there to, for, for what for data lines that's where the data is being transferred or is being communicated between the two uh power lines or be, between the two uh power rails all right and again apart on the above it says to bed meaning that's a communication from from the startup chip to bed okay it needs to sense the battery it needs to detect the volts it needs to check the temperature on the battery those are all the data that transmits what the data the data from the two 
obvious this is a vfn fan drive signal as you can see when the machine gets more hot the fan uh, spins more fast that signal is coming from where from the startup chip as well from the uh super io chip okay uh, the fan sends a signal in and the startup chip sends a signal out to drive what to drive or to control the fan all right this is a touchpad okay even a touchpad as well touchpad is being controlled by what by the startup chip all the moves are controlled by the startup chip as long as the cpu as well as long as the cpu as you can see uh, the tp talk tp that so make sure if you are having an issue with a touchpad not working and you have changed the touchpad maybe with four or five touchpads and it's still giving you some issues this is what you need to to check all right and let's go on the side and then in the bios the bios chip is also communicate with what with a startup chip it's one thing it's so important the bios it's a memory for what or a super io chip because this latest these new startup uh, chips they have the bios within them okay so to be able uh to, to check everything let's talk about the bios the bios will have four pins which are very 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 important right first one will be read bios rt means uh read you to read the chip and uh bios cs it means uh chip select it needs to select the chip bios clk it means uh bios clock and the bios wur it means bios writes okay and one more important thing the, the super io chip need to detect what the adapter through ac ac in it need to report the, those mosfets and those i mean the charging chip it need to send the signal straight to a startup chip saying that the ac has been uh connected okay so pch informing the adapter ac present uh okay so it means the super io chip will send a signal out to a pch informing the pch that the the adapter is present okay always voltage on this means uh it's s5 array uh, s5 states s5 states it means the machine is always on the signal is it's always on i spend voltage source on step down voltage main on cpu core voltage turn on this means uh, we are on these signals they're all coming out they're being sent out by what by startup chip okay to turn on the cpu power supplies it's first it needs to get a signal from where from the startup chip what you can see uh source on we talk about the suspended on or check my last video where you'll understand the entire thing again all the signal all the power uh, supplies they need to send a signal to a startup chip saying the power good power is good and then the whole machine can can start okay all power good okay signal to pc so even the, the startup chip does send uh, the power good out to where to a pch i hope you can see the relationship between the startup chip and the and the pch okay uh this one uh from the battery temperature monitor temp embed you can see it's a temperature from where embed embedded uh reset you'll have a signal there it's very very important to check ec reset okay because if there's no ec reset the machine won't turn on at all make sure you do get what an ec reset we talked about the crystal the clock signal uh you will have to have an oscilloscope to measure those uh, uh frequency there those signals there yeah uh, resume reset this is a signal going to where to a pch of which is 3.3 volts okay this is a uh, the power button switch on power button switch on uh suspended the power from the sas b okay 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 all right so anyway this is it i want to make some short videos from now on love you so much guys uh bye bye and uh, take care